button now. PTZ Optics presents Back to the Basics Live. Every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. A high-definition broadcast on Facebook. Focusing on camera line tutorials with our Chief Screaming Officer, Paul Richards. And our Social Media Manager, Tess Protesto. Back to the Basics Live. New videos every Wednesday. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Back to the Basics. We almost said PTZ Optics Live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, this is our new show, and uh, it's actually on Facebook this time. We figured we'd switch things up a little bit, try a new platform, and so we're pretty excited. And because it's on Facebook, we wanted to do something you can only do on Facebook, which is the Facebook Live reactions question. Yes. So the Facebook Live reactions are a really fun way to interact with your audience and get live feedback from them. We created this on LiveReactionsPoll.com. And we just, since we're going with an 80s theme, decided to throw a fun 80s based question out there, Back to the Future or Blade Runner? And we ask you, our audience, to press the love button for Back to the Future or the ha ha button for Blade Runner. So right now it looks like Back to the Future is in the lead by one. Wow, so Back to the Future. I thought Blade Runner was totally gonna win. I didn't even know what, what it was, so. <laughs> <laughs> You have to go watch that movie. All right, I will go watch the movie. Hi, Tom Sinclair. Hi, Sandy. Let's see who else we have with us. Marty McPadden. Hello, Mike Latta. Loving seeing some familiar faces here. We're excited to do this show. Um, this is for really current customers or prospective customers who really want to know some basic things about our products, some basic yet essential things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's get right into it. So one of the most popular questions we get all the time and uh, the cameras are right there. I'm going to grab the cameras. Is 12X or 20X? And the reason why... You sorry. know, I'm excited <laughs> for this myself because I feel like I might learn some things that I don't know yet because I'm still learning about <laughs> our products. Um, so, and the question becomes, how much optical zoom do I need and how do I determine... Um, so the, here's the two lenses, and you can see that hopefully you can see here the 12x has a wider Do you want me to angle hold it up lens. Like your model? Sure. Yeah, you can be the Vanna White. <laughs> Ta -da! Um, there's a 12 and a 20 optical zoom, and if you have any questions, right here below, we're pulling in all of the comments directly from Facebook and displaying them here, um, which I'll probably might have to hide in a minute. Yeah. But so what we decided to do was to create a optical zoom calculator so that you guys can very easily determine exactly the video image that you're going to get. Um, and this is available at ptzoptics.com slash zoom. I'll put that in the chat. Um, so it's super easy to get to. And what it does is, is it basically allows you to go ahead and choose exactly how far you are going to be capturing an image away from your um, camera and then you can basically go ahead and grab exactly the data from either a 12x or a 20x lens so let's dig into this Kinda a little fun. bit and yeah make it easy so if anyone out there uh, would like us to use the information from you know your specific setup uh, we can do that and uh, I'd be happy to kind of make this a case study but let's go ahead and try 10 feet so the camera is 10 feet away from the subject. And what we're looking at here is we've got a wide and a telephoto um, information here. And then horizontal and vertical information. So horizontal and vertical is basically horizontal is the width of the image and vertical is the height of the image. And normally it's 16 by 9, which is an aspect ratio, and then 1920 by 1080 is the pixels usually that people are, are streaming or capturing in. Some people actually do other resolutions such as on the bottom of the camera. We also support 720p and also 576i and 480i. Those are the, the uh, resolutions on the bottom there okay. of the camera. So oh, I never see that before. Quick thing about the cameras is that on the back of the camera there's a little dial that you can go ahead and select exactly what resolution you want the camera to output. But I think most people are doing 1080p. 
1080p. That's High definition. Ideal. Gary says it's the 12x wider. The 12x is wider, and you can see here that, uh, well, I guess really quickly, the 12x is 72 degrees field of view, and the 20x is 60.7. So field of view is the width of the camera, mm -hmm. so 72 degrees is wider than 61. And that is very important when we calculate how far it can zoom in, because as you can see, the 20x here, let's just take this 10-foot example, uh, and let's just look at the horizontal. Uh, because usually that's what people really care about is how wide of an image am I going to capture. Right. So if they're 10 feet away, the horizontal is 9.5 feet. It's just about 9.5 feet width you're going to capture at 10 feet away from the camera. And then on the 20x, you're going to get 8.7. So it's roughly about the same, just about a half of, about a it's foot difference. It's not too far off. Not much of a difference. But when we start zooming in from far distances, let's say 50 feet, now let's take a look at the telephoto. So we just looked at the width, which is the horizontal width. Now let's look at the telephoto. What that stands for is the fully zoomed in. Fully zoomed. Um, that's the fully zoomed in one. So okay. for example, on the 12X, when we're fully zoomed in at an object 50 feet away, we're going to get a six foot wide view. So the way I think about that is like if it's a church and the camera's all the way in the back and there's a pastor all the way at the front. Mm -hmm. With the 12X, when we f zoom in all the way, the, f the furthest we can zoom in is, is going to get a six feet wide. Okay. So you're not going to see the church pastor sh sh head and shoulders fill up the whole thing. You can actually fit in six feet, you could probably fit three people standing next to each other. Mm. But on the 20X, if you look at it, we can do 2.9 feet, so just three feet. So now you're getting closer to a head and shoulder shot that's much more zoomed in. Right. So Gary, yes, a 12X would work better in a boardroom and the 20X would work better in an auditorium situation. That's, an exa that's a great way to look at it, yes. Um, so that is available at ptzoptics.com slash zoom. And uh, we actually it's have a, a guide little as well. Tool. It's, clever. it's a great little tool. Did it's you just make that? I just made it yesterday. Every day I come in and he's <laughs> got something new he's made. <laughs> so it's just been made. And I just made this little document to go with it that basically uh, walks you through it. And here's a graph here that kind of explains it. Um, kind of boring data here, but basically, as you can see, um, the fields of view on the fully zoomed in, that's just the tele angle. This is, they call that tele zoom. You can see here, they're much tighter angles. Mm -hmm. So you can zoom in much uh, tighter field of view as opposed to a wide field of view. Um, how do you choose the right camera? Well, you just really are thinking about what is the furthest person away that you could possibly um, need to zoom in on and figure out, okay, well, if I need to zoom 50 feet, is a 12X okay? Do I just need six feet wide? Or is 2.8 going to be much nicer because I can zoom in further? Mm -hmm. So that's really how we, we capture everything. And um, here's an example here. And I've got a couple example videos I wanted to show. But you can see here that um, a 20X uh, camera all the way zoomed out and then all the way zoomed in uh, looks pretty good. And Tess, you got some great footage. So test dash footage dash view. Ah, here it is. You got some really great footage from some of our customers. Yes, I did. And I thought this one in particular really did the cameras justice. So I wanted to show this one. Um, this is, what, what is this, Tess? This is a, I believe, a high school age spring jazz festival. Hmm. Though they seem pretty impressive. I mean, their production quality is extremely impressive. So, so th it was pretty cool. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So, uh, and I, this is just a, it's a two hour um, video, but you can see, you could see kind of at the beginning there, um, it was pretty far zoomed out. In fact, there was another one that you sent me, Tess, that was really good, but there, that's fully zoomed out. And then you can see them fading, and they have three 20x SDI cameras. You can see them fading into different shots mm -hmm. where um, you can clearly see the people much better um, when when it's fully zoomed in. So that's kind of the 
the reason why people use pan tilt zoom cameras so much. So that's where we're going to wrap up the show. These are super quick, 10 minute um, kind of quick videos. And then we're going to stick around and um, answer any more questions that you guys have. So thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to go ahead and roll the credits and we'll stick around to answer all the questions and hang out and chat with you guys. Thank <laughs> you.